Hi, I'm Lee Wallace. The, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, I think, my fifth video ever, uh, so I'm still learning. Uh, I wanted to post today about uh, COVID-19, something that, uh, of course, everybody is thinking about and has been for an entire year. I wanted to talk specifically about the variants. There are three that scientists are tracking hard. There are many more than that, but three that they're tracking really hard. One from South Africa, one from the UK, and one from Brazil. The UK is currently, according to CDC's figures today, the most prevalent in the United States. Um, there are 690 cases in the US and they're in 33 states, according to the data CDC put out today. In South Africa, that variant, which is called the B1351, there are only six cases that have been found in the US and those were in three different states for the Brazilian variant, approximately the same. Three cases in the United States. Those have been found in two different states. Scientists uh, and CDC specifically acknowledge that this is a dramatic undercount because of the fact that in the U.S. we are not specifically testing for variants. They find them sort of by accident from a backdoor method, and it isn't something that they're tracking completely as they do in some countries. But uh, what I specifically wanted to talk about today was that there was a new study that came out. It has not been peer reviewed, but there's a study that says that every 10 days, the UK variant has been doubling in the United States. Every 10 days doubling. When you think about what that means, it's really amazing. But I wanted to show you in a chart format what it looked like. I did this chart out through July 29th. So, you know, roughly about the midpoint of the year. What would it look like in the United States if we in fact had a doubling of the UK variant every 10 days? And this is what the chart looks like. Looks like it might be backwards on this, doesn't it? It looks like it's going down. It's actually going up. I don't know how to make that switch around. Anywho, what would happen is that it would go from uh, 690, which is what the data is today. By July 29th, there would have been 4.5 million cases in the United States. That is phenomenal growth. And it reflects the fact that the UK variant is more contagious than the variant that is currently circulating in the United States. Thanks. I hope you'll like and subscribe. Um, I would really like to post more on COVID. I find this data and these facts really fascinating. I also want to track this to see whether or not this is in fact what happens. I mean, by July 29th, are there 4.5 million cases in the United States or was that a vast um, overestimate? Or maybe has the South African variant taken over from the UK variant, perhaps even displaced it or at least equaled it? I'll be interested to know. So like and subscribe and I'll keep posting on this. Bye.